Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at a really important thing you need to know how to do with your little Java window programs, and that is you have to be able to read what the user has typed in a box. So, for example, my little program is going to be very similar to the add button that we did before, but instead of adding two variables that were pre made and already set, I want to add the numbers the user types in here and in there, and then show the answer in there. Now, this can involve a couple steps and something very, very new about reading the values from the box. So the first thing, I need to set myself up with some values. Now, here I've named this text box text A, and I've called this box text B, and this one text sum, right? Adding up, finding the sum. Now, what I want to do is I want to have a variable to keep track of what the user typed, another variable to keep track of what the user typed, and then another variable that's going to store the answer that I can show in the box. So let's go to our source here and let's just get our variable set up for this problem. So I'm going to make an integer. Um, even though it's not the best name, I'm going to call it integer A. I'm just going to set it to zero to start. I'm going to have integer B and just set it to zero and I'll have integer sum and I'll set it to zero. Now that's one way you can do it. I'm using three lines. If you are making all integers, there's actually other ways to do it. We'll show you another time, but that's pretty good for now. So there's our three variables we're going to use, A, B, and sum. Now let's get to actually reading what the user types. So the program's going to start. The user's going to type like three. They're going to type seven. I'm going to hit the button, and then this should add them up and show 10. So let's double click this button, assuming the users type some stuff in the box. So here we go. Button sum. What do I have to do? I'm going to put some comments here while this is happening. Read the values that the user has typed in the box. Now we have to assume they've typed numbers in there. Okay, we have to be good for beginner coding. So here's how you do it. You say, hey, variable A, set yourself equal to. Now, the text box is called text A. Please access your get text method. Now, every text box has a method built in called get text, and this is the way you get it to run. So, dot get text. But you're going to notice here is that we have the red lines, and the red line is saying this incompatible types. I require an integer, and it says found a string. Here's what it's talking about when people type into the box, even though, yeah, you're typing a number in, technically the box is storing symbols, right, from the keyboard. Like if you typed a J in, it's the letter J or the character J. When you type a 7 in, you're typing a character 7 in the box. What we have to do is we actually have to take what they've typed in the box and we have to convert it to an integer. And so it's a weird step for a beginner to have to do. And, you know, some of you may not really get exactly, well, what's that conversion about? But the idea is this. This is text inside the box. Since this variable is an integer, you need to convert the text into an integer variable, like a true number uh, for the memory of the program. So this is how the conversion works in Java. Hey. Big integer class. This is a class that's already been written for you. It can do a bunch of stuff. It has a command that called parse int. Now, parse means read and translate. Okay, parse, translate. And it's saying translate it into an integer. Now, notice I give it. What do I give it? I give it text date dot text, and I do that. So you don't have to put all these spaces, but I'm trying to emphasize something here. Please convert to an integer this, text day get text, which is whatever they've typed in the box. And notice now the line is good. A will be the actual number value that they've typed in the box. I'm going to do the same thing with B. And now I've got the two variables that they've typed. Just to prove it's actually working, 
you could actually, uh, well, we'll do the math here and we'll do our little equation. But let's calculate our sum. Sum equals a plus b. Okay, I've calculated what the sum is. And now show the sum in the text box. Text sum. Please set your text to sum is sum. So I read the values. I calculate and set the sum. And then I show in the box. Okay, does it work? Let's check it out. Let's do a 3 plus 4 is 7. And obviously this works for all values because the computer never makes the mistake on the values, right? And so that's our little sum. That's an important little order of operations that a lot of programmers have to do. You have to read from the box. And if it's a number, you got to do this little conversion here in front. Now, you don't go and memorize that, right? Don't sit at home at night and try to, like, memorize this. Remember, everything's open book. You use cheat sheets, you open older programs. You know, you ever forget, as long as you know I have to convert, that's good, it's easy. You can Google in how to convert a uh, text box to number, right? And it'll pop up something like this. Okay, but as long as you get that idea that that's what we have to do. Nice. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what happens when you don't want to stick just to nice little integer numbers. What happens when you want to use decimals?